Hello. Hello. Oh, how you doing, sweetheart? I'm fine, Jimmy's. How are you? I'm doing just fine. I was just trying to send you a little message. What are you up to tonight, honey? Yeah, it's really late right now, so uh, I can really sleep. I'm just trying to see if we can talk a little. Oh, I love it. bed. Oh, that sounds wonderful, sweetheart. I really liked your photo on the tag. Tell me about yourself. Oh, I will. Uh, my, you already know my age, I guess. I am a, I am a German, but I live right here in Los Angeles, California. Oh, goodness, you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you just fine. So you're German, but you live in Los Angeles. How exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I live right here in Los Angeles, California. So that's where I, you know, I'm a German. That's where I get my accent from. Oh, it's a German accent. Goodness, I've never talked to a German man before. I one time ate some bratwurst at the fair, but it made me sick. So what do you do for a living? Oh, that's pretty cool. I am a rig engineer. I walk in the oil. Oh, you're an engineer. Goodness, that sounds exciting. I've never met an engineer before. Oh, uh, so tell me, are you single? I am single. I've been divorced now for five years. My husband and I owned the little truck stop on Route 9, but it burned down for the insurance money, and then after that, we divorced, and I've been single ever since. I've got a son named Kyle. He's 26. What about you, honey? Oh, my God. That's great. I have a son called Alex. Oh, goodness. That's a neat little name. Alex is a young boy. It's just Terry now. I didn't get married in time, so I, I, I divorced. I divorced my ex because she was cheating on me. So I caught her red-handedly. She's trying to, she, she was cheating on me, so I have to divorce her. So, right now, Alex is with me. Oh, goodness. Oh, I'm so sorry you were cheated on. My husband cheated on me, too, and I burned all his underwear. How old is your son? Oh, he's teary. He's just teary ass. Oh. He's still very pretty young. Oh, he's a little one. Goodness, we'll have to get him some Elmo pajamas. So, I mean, what kind of hobbies do you have, honey? So you tell me, what do you do for a living? I'm so glad you asked. Well, after we burned down the truck stop with the insurance money, I opened my own hair salon, and we also, in the front, we sell chicken nuggets. So it's like the Weave and Chick Salon, and I have four employees. I'm the manager, and we're so excited. We're going to open a second salon in September right down the road because it's been so successful. Oh, that's great. I'm so happy to hear that. You are a hard-working woman. Oh, I, I am. can see you are a hard-working woman. That's good. I am. It's so good to work hard. It is. I even it have is. my time. It the body. Yes. I, I was going to say, I make my own line it of is. barbecue it sauce. It does strong oh, and... He's just interrupting the hell out of me. It does make the body strong. I have arms like the damn Hulk. So tell me, how old are you? I'm 57. I'm going to be 58. I feel like an old woman. <laughs> how old are you, sweetheart? Are you there? How old are you? 
I'm 57. I'm going to be 58. I'm an old woman. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. We have some, we have things in common. I'm also 57. Oh, how exciting. I look much older. I hope you do too. <laughs> but I don't look old. I look younger than my age. Oh, well. You know, every, everyone always tells me that I look younger than my age because I take good care of myself. Oh, that's wonderful. And we had working men too. Oh, well, I look a lot older and I don't take care of myself. I smoke, so, you know, it's okay. Do you, let me ask you a question. Do you like to sing karaoke? If you like. I said, do you like to sing karaoke? Oh, why? For sure, I will. Well, I'm, I'm a singer. I love to sing. Would you like to hear me sing one of my songs? Why, for sure, I will. I would love to hear that. Okay. That would be lovely, you know. Oh, good. Let me, let me get my music. Hang on. I'll sing you one of my songs. It's late, so I hope I don't wait. Oh, go. Okay. Oh, go on. I can wait. I can wait to hear that. I can wait. Okay, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, hang on. I'm right here. <laughs> okay, here we go. I made it through the wilderness. Somehow I made it through. Didn't know how lost I was until I found you. I was big. Oh, incomplete, I've been had, I was sad and blue, but you made me feel, oh, you made me feel shiny and new, <laughs> like a virgin, touch for the very first time, I'm singing, like a virgin, <laughs> With your heart beat next to me. Mama, why are you singing? Shut up, God. Mama, why are you singing so loud? You woke me up. Kyle, oh, shut up. I'm singing to a man I met on the internet. But, Mama, that's the Like a Virgin song. You're far from Like a Virgin. Kyle, go to bed, damn it. I'm on the internet. I'm sorry, Mama. I'm, I'm so sorry, honey. My son walked in. He's going back to bed. Are you there? Are you there, honey? Oh no. Did you run away? Are you there? Hello, Jimmy. Oh hey sweetie, sorry my son yeah. woke up. Yeah, I I can you hear me. I can hear you, honey. I'm so sorry my singing woke up my son, Kyle, but he went back to bed. It's okay. It's okay. So tell me, how are you on Honda? Are you on Honda Social Media? Am I doing what, honey? Are you on Honda Social Media, like Instagram or whatever? No, I'm not. I'm just on the tag because my sister Barty told me I need to join tag and find myself a man. My ex-husband's on the Facebook, so I don't get on any of those those things, honey. Are you on Facebook? No, because my ex-husband's on the Facebook, and I don't want to talk to him. Are you on Facebook? I'm not on the damn Facebook. Are you on the Facebook? Are you on Facebook? Are you hearing impaired? No, I'm not on the Facebook. My ex-husband's on the Facebook, so I don't get on there. Okay, I see. What are you so, doing? Yeah, he's gonna find you. 
What's all that noise, honey? Yeah, I'm trying to get up something, so I'm trying to fix up something, baby. Oh, goodness, it sounds like you're feeding the chickens. <laughs> Are you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm there, honey. So, are you on Jimmy Hangouts? Where can we text? Well, Where else can I text you? You can text my phone, or you can talk to me on the tag. I'm not on a lot of social media because I'm not that computer savvy. The only hangout I have is down at the local of the Rusty Anchor where I have a drink every once in a while. Okay. So, you tell me more about yourself. Well, what do you want? What's that, honey? You live with your son? My son is 26. He's staying here for the week because he's going to the monster truck rally. Okay, okay. You live alone? Oh, yes. It's just me and my nine cats. Oh, that is great. You have a home on your own? Do you have a home? I own my own are you, home. You own a house or you rent it in an apartment? Oh, hell no. I own my own home. It's got plastic fencing all around the inside and the outside. I own 500 acres, honey. Okay, okay. I have a house here right here in California. Oh goodness, how exciting. I have a house here in California. I have a very big apartment. Oh. It's just well, it's just four bedroom and uh, a tall city room. Wow. It's like a, a duplex. A four bedroom apartment, goodness, that's that's pretty big for just you and the little toddler. Um, um, honey, look, I want to ask you a question, okay? Okay, go on. On Friday, my sister Bardine is coming over, and we're going to have a flashlight battery check-in party. And what we do is we shut all the lights off in the house, and we bring all the flashlights over, and then we shine them in each other's eyes to make sure that they are really nice and bright. And usually we'll have some music and maybe some Vienna sausages on, on little toothpicks. Did you want to come to the party on Friday? Okay, you know, I, I would love to come. You know, I'm a very busy man. Uh -huh. And uh, I, will see, I will see how my schedule is going to look like. Uh -huh. So if I'm like busy, I'll, I'll let you know. So you can give me your address so I can come over, mm -hmm. okay? Well, you'd have to fly out, honey, because I'm not real close to the Los Angeles area, as you can hear. I mean, do you want to book a flight? I mean, it would be great to meet you in person, and then we can know if we click. <laughs> so tell me, where do you live? Where do you live precisely? I live in Hankelville, Arkansas. It's right off of Route 9. My sister lives in California, my other sister, Charlene. I stayed out there with her one time, but I live out in the country, honey. I'm way out. Okay, I see. I see. Don't worry, okay? I promise to try to make it up to you, okay? All I want is a easygoing woman. Because I am an easygoing man. I'm very sincere and honest man, as you can see. Oh, hi, I see. I'm, I'm very easy, too. They call me Easy Jams. <laughs> I have passed through a lot of things, and I have been hard in the past. Okay, a lot of women have cheated on me. Oh, goodness. Just because I haven't found the right person to be with. It's so hard to find. But right now, I don't think I can think. 
Now, I don't think I can take none of that because I really want to settle down with the right passion. I don't want to make any mistake this time because I really want to stay, I really want to spend the rest of my life with a woman I can spend the rest of my life with as a help of family. That's what I need. Oh, honey, I need the same thing after Earl cheated on me. I found it hard to ever love again, and I've not yet met a good man to love me. So I'm looking for serious. That's why I was saying you should come out and visit me so we can find out if this is going to move forward into something serious, honey. Yeah, I will. I will. I will. Okay. I promise yeah. I'm gonna make it. I promise I'm gonna make it up to you. Oh, okay. Oh, honey, I trust you with my life. I was just thinking. I mean, I know you a busy man at work and all, but maybe you could just take off Friday and Saturday. I'd be happy to book your flight, and we could pick you up at the Hankelville okay. Airport. Okay. Do you live in California? I live in Hankelville. I can, you can fly out. It's probably a three and a half hour okay. flight if you want to fly. Okay, 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 yeah, okay, okay, okay. So, okay. when time comes, baby, listen to me. When time comes, you let me know. So, you have to text me your address, your, your correct airport close to you. It's a Hankelville Airport, honey. Do you want look? I know this is so crazy, but I just feel it deep in my nether bosoms that I think you're the one for me. I mean, you wanna you wanna fly out, honey? Why don't we just do this so crazy? Why don't you just fly out and meet me? Let's do it. <laughs> Are you there? Or are you thinking it over, honey? Okay, so I guess I'm the. Hello, I really have to put up some things in order right now. Okay, I really. Will you send me your photos? Oh, sure, honey. I got tons of photos of myself. Can I'll... you send me a photo? Oh, yeah, honey. I'll send you a few photos after yeah. we hang up. Okay, okay, baby. You just do that now. I will, right. sweetheart. I have to get some things to get you. Okay, hang up. All right, sweetie. Well, give me a little kiss. Mm -hmm. I love you, baby. Good Lord, that was a big kiss. crazy. Oh, goodness, that was a big kiss. <laughs> Oh, oh, good Lord, you're just a... You're so sweet, my baby. I know. <laughs> I hope you're going to send me some photos, right? I'm going to send them right now, honey. <laughs> okay, I hope you're uh, now. All right. Okay. All right, honey, I'll you send them. All right, sweetie. All right, well, you think about coming okay. to that party, uh, sweetheart. All right. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll think about that, okay? All right, honey. Okay. Mwah, bye. <laughs> bye. Mwah, love you. I love me, too. <laughs> so after we hung up, the next day, the scammer texted us and asked for a thousand dollars he confessed who he really was and said he wanted the money for his sick dying mother he said he had never scammed before and he gave us the details to his real facebook page which showed us that he has scammed before and he's currently scamming he said he was in love with our old lady and wanted to come to the united states and to marry her but on his facebook page he has a quote soulmate girlfriend and we saw no sick mother on there at all but we did see a few fake profiles and a few connections to the yahoo boys and other scammer groups this goes to show that when the scammer confesses he's still lying 
and he's still scamming to get money. This one made us so angry that we ended up telling him that we sent him money via Western Union and gave him a fake MTCN number to go pick the money up. The scammer called a friend of his who had to drive for almost an hour to go pick him up to get the money that wasn't there. Right or wrong, we felt that we had to do that because, for one, he was lying about his sick and dying mother. For two, the scammer on his Facebook page actually had a job. He's actually a caterer and a baker. So he's not penniless. He has a job and he's still scamming. I hope you've enjoyed the chat. Stay tuned for more. If you need help, you can find us on Facebook at Scamming Scammers Action. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and get a notification every time we make a new video. Thanks for watching. This is William with Scamming Scammers. Bye.